What's up YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Fishing channel. Today is a Thursday, March 17, 2016. I'm here at the Tucani Creek in Sheltenham, I believe. Alright, Pennsylvania. Uh, I did start my day earlier today in New Jersey, okay? I was with my friend Mike Caruso, the guy who, you know, I fish with in North Carolina. And if you want to check some of my North Carolina videos, I'm linking one above. We fished this place called Vincent Town Mill Pond, I believe, in New Jersey, you know. Um, I ended up catching, a f not catching actually, I ended up missing a few chain pickerel. I'm leaving the footage at the end of this video. And you know, uh, something, uh, something happened, you know, so Mike had to go. And that's why I decided to do the, my fishing session for the rest of the day here at the Tucani Creek. Um, you know, the goal for today is really to check if the white, if the white sucker migration is already up at the Tucani Creek. Uh, you guys may or may not be aware of the white sucker, right? The Catostomus commersoni. They do a spring migration every year in local creeks here in Pennsylvania, and it just so happens that the Tucani Tacone watershed is one of the places where the white sucker swims up. So the goal for today would be to do uh, some multi-species angling here, see how many different species of fish I can catch, but also to check if the white sucker are here already or not. <laughs> all right, enough talking. Let's get the fishing started, all right? All right, folks, before I get started, let me just give you guys a brief introduction of what I will be doing here today. This session here at the Tucani Creek is going to be mainly micro fishing, okay? And when it comes to micro fishing, a lot of folks have asked me before, Leo, how exactly is it that you micro fish? So today I will be using an ultralight setup. I got here my Daiwa Spinmatic with my Shimano Sedona 500 FD, four pounds test line, fluorocarbon, okay? This is Berkeley Vanish. I actually like to go fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon sinks faster than all other lines, okay? And for my bait and hook, I'm using a size 12, very small hook with just a small piece of night crawler. I don't know how many species I will be able to catch here today, but I can tell you with confidence that here at the Tucani Creek, before I have caught, let's see, the bluegill, I have caught pumpkin seed, I have caught common shiner, a spot tail shiner, uh, a spot fin shiner, I have caught white sucker, large mouth bass, brown bowhead, and who knows, even some more species, creek chub, of course. So I have caught plenty of species here. So all right, let's get started. The creek is looking good. So let's get started here. I have a little deep hole right in front of me. Let's see how many species of fish I will be able to land. Fish on. First fish of the day, fellas. Let's see. What species is this? <laughs> it's a beautiful common shiner. Check that out, huh? Native to the United States of America, found only in small creeks around here. The common shiner, Luxilus cornutus. Scientific name. Beautiful. Check this out, huh, folks? That's why I say when people don't do micro fishing, they are really, really missing out. Look at the colors on this fish. All right, and this is one of my favorite species of fish because of the red coloration on its fins. You see, it's got red on all its fins. Truly a gorgeous fish. A small night crawler, size 12 hook. Let's take a couple photos, release this guy. Let's get a final view of this fish. I initially thought that this fish was actually a creek chub, but no, it turned out to be a common shiner. Okay, first fish of the day. Let's see how many different species of fish we will be able to land, yeah? There we go. Ooh, I almost threw it on the rock, but it's swimming away just fine. All right, first fish of the day. Let's see what else is around here. Fish on. What we got here? Second, second species of the day. Second species of the day. What we got here? 
very very small very small it's a quick chub there we go <laughs> this one i don't remember was it semotilus atromaculatus maybe i don't know but there you go very small creek chub sample here from the Tucani Creek. Let's take a few photos and release this guy. Little creek chub, most people would call it beige, but you see, very, very beautiful little fish. Okay, let's release this little fella right here. Blah, there we go. Swims away nicely. Second species of the day. Let's see how many more species we can catch. All right, species number three of the day. Dude, this is turning out to be a good day. Species number three of the day, we got here a spot tail shiner. I have no idea what the scientific name is for spot tail shiner, but check this out, huh? how beautiful this little fella is. Look at this fish, all right? Micro fishing at its best, the spot tail shiner. All right, took a few photos of the spot tail shiner, species number three of the day you guys can have a final view of this fish truly a gorgeous fish yes no joke that's why i say fellas once again if you don't micro fish you will never get to witness the beauty of these fishes you know there it goes it's still on top of the water there just chilling Fish on what we got here. Common shiner. Second common shiner of the day. One of my favorite micro species because of the red coloration on its fins. You see this? The Luxilus cornutus. Truly a beautiful, gorgeous species of fish. Check that out. Huh? Micro fishing at its best, my friends. About four inches long, three and a half, four inches beautiful fish beautiful fish but i'm trying to catch a white sucker so come on give me a break here fish uh. fish on species number four of the day <laughs> this one you guys should be very well familiar with right because this here we got here a sunfish yes lepomis auditus red breast sunfish it's called red breast for a reason you can see here right it is red orange red on the breast blue markings on its face uh, long and black opercular flap there you go lepomis auditus red breast sunfish all right took a few photos of this fella and as you guys can see this fish is missing the upper part of its mouth because someone before probably caught this fish and didn't do a good job at unhooking the fish right so it kind of damaged the fish's upper upper lip you see there's no upper lip on this fish oh boy anyways let's release here it survives gets to see another day all right fish on what we got here species number five of the day the Lepomis macrocerus, your traditional bluegill. Blue in superculum, black opercular flap, ding vertical bars. Yeah, that's a bluegill, all right? <laughs> all right, species number five, nothing new. I've caught a few bluegill from the Tucani Creek. We took a few photos of our bluegill here, species number five of the day. Yeah, beautiful sample. All right, time to release it. Bye bye. <laughs> there he goes five species so far can we catch more species mm, let's see what that's a pretty big one biggest creek chub of the day yeah aren't they beautiful when they get big look at that yeah nice nice little creek chub perfect size bait for flathead catfish 
Huh? Wow, this one's pretty injured too. I don't know what tried to get a bite of this, <laughs> of this uh, Crick Chub, but there you go. Yes, let's take a couple photos, release this guy. As you can see, this Crick Chub got the horns in front too. Three sets of horns. Yeah, beautiful. Four sets. All right, let's take a couple photos and release it. All right, ended up taking a few photos of our Crick Chub. Final view of this gorgeous fish. He's got the horns here. Four pairs of horns in his head, as you guys can see. Gorgeous little fella, yeah. All right, bye-bye. There he goes. Fish on. Yes, white sucker. White sucker on. Yeah, I was waiting for that fish to get my night crawler, man. Beautiful white sucker right here. That's gonna be our species, what, six of the day? Come here, white sucker. Yeah, there we go. Well, not so much more micro fishing, but you know, we finally got our objective of the day at least, right? A white sucker, yeah. This is definitely not micro fishing though. This is bigger than six inches, but there we go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful creatures. Let me give you a view of it. You got here the white sucker's mouth, as you can see. All right, he sucks on rocks down the creek. There you go, yeah, gorgeous fish. Right, I would say this is in the range of nine, nine, ten inches, okay. Got on a piece of night crawler, a small hook. He's saying, what are you looking at, Chinese kid? Release me. That's right. We're going to take a few photos and release this fella. All right, let's get a final view on our white sucker. Mr. White Sucker right here saying, Asian kid, release me now. <laughs> We're going to release him soon enough. Yeah, but here you go. Final view of this gorgeous fish, the white sucker. All right, Catostomus Comersoni, yeah. All right, we took a few photos already. Let's release it over here. There it goes, happy goes. And you know, folks, there is actually a huge misconception when it comes to the white sucker. A lot of people like to call the white sucker a trash fish, a raw fish, right? But they are beautiful creatures. And as a matter of fact, the biggest misconception when it comes to the white sucker is in the fact that people believe that they suck all the trash down the creek. And as a matter of fact, it is quite the opposite, okay? Creek chub, I mean creek chub, white sucker are only able to survive in the cleanest of the waters, okay? The water needs to be extremely clean for them to survive. And the Tucani Creek is, has been doing great for the past couple years. So that makes what? Six species of fish so far? Let's see if we can, can, uh, if we can land some additional species. If not, I'm gonna call it a day. Fish on. Another white sucker. Second one of the day. Man, he's trashing. He's trashing. Check that out. That white sucker's trashing, man. All right, let's pull him up here. Second white sucker of the day. Yeah, there we go. I'm telling you, man. The fishing for white sucker is going well. There we go. Yeah, hooked right under here. Another beautiful fish. Check that out, huh? Nice, nice one. All right, let's take a few photos of this fella, a little bit smaller than the last one, and do a quick release. There we go. Final view of our lovely white sucker. It looks mean on the head, okay, but it's not a mean fish. Very nice fish, look at that. Look at that sucking motion. He is ready to go back and suck on some sand there. Beautiful fish, yeah? Let me give a final view here. Truly a gorgeous fish, folks. Seriously, I mean, I love catching them, you know? Awesome fish. And the big ones, they fight really well. All right, let's release this little fella here. There he goes. Bye-bye. Until next time, grow bigger.
Oh, check that out, huh? Check that out, folks. Koi. There's a koi down there. The koi just decided to come out for a walk. Check that out. I don't know if you guys can see or not. But there's a koi. There's a koi right around here. Walking around, taking a stroll. The koi. This koi being here forever, too. Phew. All right, folks, final update. It is 3.25 p.m. Thursday, March 17th. Suddenly, it started to rain. Goodness, and this is not good. See, it's raining right now. <laughs> so, i just going to pack it up, okay? GoPro cannot get wet. Got to go take my buzz. We finished the day with, what, five or six species of fish? I forgot, but that's good enough for me. Now, we stick up with the footage from this morning and see the fails from all the pickerel that I lost today. Tie lines until next video, fellas. Fish on! Oh! First picker of the day. Lost it right in front of me. On the Thomas Ify series. Inline spinner, folks. <laughs> Man! Feel like freaking night crawl. Fish on! Ooh, nice one! Come on, come on, come on! Take it easy, fish! I'm using four pound test line. I gotta fight this fish. It's low and easy. It's low and easy. Four pound test line here. Let's bring it on the side so I can land this fish nicely. Fish on. Yeah, finally. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Third one that I lose today.